Hello and welcome to the Temenos Community Forum 2023 in Vienna. I'm Hannah Wallace from Finextra TV and with me now is Craig Bennett from Temenos and Simon Beats, CEO of Alex Bank. Hello to the both of you. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, Anna. Thanks for Hi. having us. Nice to, nice to be here. Really good to have you in the studio with us uh, and a fantastic event so far. Uh, so thanks for taking the time out to come and speak with us. Um, and there are a number of areas I want to cover with you today, including a significant uh, development at Alex Bank and also what it takes to launch a neobank. But first, I want to reflect on the innovation we're seeing across the APAC region because we're seeing a lot of innovation from the fintechs, the challenges uh, and also the tech companies. Uh, so Craig, coming to you first, perhaps you could uh, set the scene for us and bring us up to date and tell us about some of those exciting use cases you're seeing across the region. Yeah, I think the big change that we're seeing across the region is the expansion of the use of the cloud. Um, it started off in Australia over the last few years. Alex Bank was one of the first uh, to launch solely in the cloud. And now we're seeing that expand around the rest of the region. So we've had um, some exciting um, uh, companies joining our family, uh, Baiduri in, in Brunei, uh, who are moving on to the cloud, uh, Temnos uh, Managed Cloud. Also CAF Securities in, in Malaysia. So that adoption of the cloud and, and, um, is, is really starting to pick up around, uh, around the region. And I think that's one of the big, the big um, trends that we're seeing at the moment. Uh, and I think regulators are getting more comfortable with it. Um, the banks themselves are understanding the benefits that it delivers and, and how they'll be able to um, change their business uh, and innovate quicker and to, to, to really sort of take advantage of, of what the cloud can offer. Um, so that's one of the really exciting things that we're seeing around the region. That's right. We're seeing a lot of offerings that are really challenging yes. the status quo, exactly. aren't we? Exactly. Um, and now, Simon, I know there's been a really exciting development at uh, Alex Bank and that's uh, that you've recently received your uh, unrestricted banking license. So tell us more about that. What yeah, does that mean right. you can do uh, that you couldn't before? Yeah, so uh, Hannah, the, the um, regulatory environment in Australia for getting a banking license is the similar to the UK. Um, the uh, process is, first of all, a restricted banking license. Um, if the regulator is comfortable with uh, how you're progressing through there, and that's around technology, resilience, capability, and also capital, they'll invite you to move forward to a full um, unrestricted banking license. Alex Bank, I'm pleased to say, received that uh, in December of last year. Um, after uh, many years of hard work, it's not easy building a bank as you'd imagine. Right. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, Terminos is a, a key um, partner of us in enabling that. Um, and as Craig mentioned, um, you know, we're 100% in the cloud. So there was a lot to navigate um, with the regulator around that. Um, uh, while the Australian regulator is quite progressive, um, Craig's right, um, we are the first 100% um, in the cloud. Uh, and so we need to, needed to work through with not only the Terminos team, but APRA in, in um, all um, challenges that might happen um, from having a, a bank in the cloud. The short answer to your question is, what's the big difference, is now we can take unlimited deposits. So beforehand, we are capped at 2 million in deposits and 100 million in lending. Um, now we're uncapped. So unlike other parts of the world, in particular parts of Asia where they have a digital license, we only have one banking license in Australia and, and we've got that now, which is incredibly exciting. And we're out scaling Alex Bank today. Well, congratulations Thank on you. that. And you touched on uh, some of the challenges along the way and the benefits of moving to the cloud. Uh, perhaps you could just highlight those a little bit more for us. Yeah, so I think um, you know the obvious one is um, you, you, you do away with the need of um, costs in, in, in people to manage the old on-prem tech and um, you know you, you probably can tell by looking at Craig and I we've been around a little bit uh, and so we've, uh, for that. <laughs> we've, um, we, we've lived through the on-prem uh, challenges and, and, and also the benefits of on-prem but um, what I like as a, a CEO of a new digital bank is, is I've pushed all that across to Craig. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Craig's job is to make sure that you know he um, manages that and in a safe and secure environment um, and let's us focus on the business of banking. We're not technologists, um, although certainly I employ a lot of technologists. We're bankers and our, that's our skill set and Craig slash Terminos is, is running you know, global banking systems. So that's, that's what that's all about. Um, that also means that um, we're there for the 
when our customers need us. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, customers don't necessarily come to a bank between nine and four, which is a bit of a surprise for some of the dinosaurs out there, Hannah. <laughs> um, our customers typically engage with us before 9 a.m. in the morning, a little bit at lunchtime, and then after 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and that's where we need to make sure that Terminos is able to scale up and down as we need to and use, um, you know, servers that can do all of that in, in the cloud for us. Well, thank you for that. And you've touched on um, areas of my next question as well, which is the role of uh, technology in launching a neobank and uh, rolling out new products. So uh, what is the role of technology in that? And uh, Alex, we'll come to you and maybe get some comments from Craig afterwards. So um, the beauty of building a new bank is you start with a white piece of paper. Uh, and so what we were able to do is, is literally pull out a white piece of paper. In this instance, it was a big whiteboard and say, building a bank from the ground up, what would we do differently? And where are the areas of friction and what is the customer experience we're looking to deliver? So we flipped what I just said upside down. We said, okay, this is the customer journey we need. Now we need to find a partner that can help deliver that. And as you know, Terminos was the partner we chose to deliver that in the Azure environment and Microsoft's been a terrific partner for us and that's where the Alex technology sits alongside that. So coupled together it works really well and, and it means again that we can focus on those more important customer elements there as opposed to stuff that a banker shouldn't be worried about. Sure. And Craig, anything you'd like to add? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I totally agree with um, um, Simon. You know, the 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 the, um, the benefit of technology, the benefit of the cloud, is it does allow the banks to, to focus on what they're really there to do, which yeah. is to deliver a service and an experience to, to, to the customer. Um, our job is to deliver the platform that enables them to do that, uh, and ensuring that we're able to do that in, in a safe, secure way is really, really important. And I think a lot of the banks that we're seeing around the region that are adopting cloud actually understand that that that. The, the, the freedom that it gives them to be a bank as opposed to, to worrying about managing technology and managing data centers and all of that sort of stuff. They've got, the, they've got that freedom to, to do what they do best and we take, we take on what we do best, which is look after that technology and make sure it's there and available in a, in, in, in a safe, secure way. And I think it's that partnership that, gets, uh, that works so well together is, is that you know, each, each, each can focus on, their, on, on what they do the best and together it actually delivers a far superior service and a far superior um, set of capabilities and, and customer experiences and so forth. So I think, you know, it's, it's one of those instances where one plus one equals three as opposed mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. to two. The, the two things together does deliver something quite, uh, quite special and we're seeing that around the region. Brilliant. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing more from the successful partnership and uh, once again, congratulations. Uh, and I'll let you get back to the event. But gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.